everybody, my name is Alexis. And I'm Ty. And welcome to Drinks O'Clock, the drink show that you never knew you needed. So we are in the month of May still, right? And we're warming, spring is springing, it's mm -hmm. doing its thing. Um, but we need to get a little more ramped up and a little more ready to go for that festival season. Absolutely. Yeah. So what we were thinking today with our rum is we were going to make something a little more punchy. Yeah. How does that bum. sound? But you, you know I love my puns. Okay. You know I love my puns. So, Ty, yes. tell us a little bit about today's rum. So today we've got a beautiful, beautiful Dominican rum called 1888 Brugal. Uh, very, very astute. Only it's the fifth generation rum. Um, it's quite special in the fact that it's made in two ways: one from sherry cask, one from bourbon cask. Marry the two together, beautiful notes. Nice, okay. So a sherry cask and a bourbon cask. Yes. Is that usual? Uh, not so much with rum production. Okay. Uh, but the Dominicans know how to make their rum. The Dominicans know what they're doing. All right. No sugar, so, no colorings, no flavorings. No sugars, no colorings, mm -hmm. no flavorings. Oh, ain't you natural. Nice, so therefore this should, this should hit a little bit differently than those rums on the market that do have all of those things we, in them. So the beautiful thing of making it with two kind of barrels is we get beautiful notes of sweetness of caramel, okay. oak, mm -hmm. honeycomb, nice, dried fruits. Can we smell? Absolutely. Let's give it a go. Let's pop that bottle. That's nice. I feel like that could be a candle. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> that could be a candle. You know, sometimes you want like a nice home scent. It's giving man cave. It's that's what I feel like it's giving. It's giving man cave. I'm also getting some leather. Leather, yep. spice, yep. notes of sweetness. Dominican cigar. Dominican cigar. Mate, we're on it. Okay, that's cool. it. So, Brugal 1888. Yes. And we're going to be making today, I believe, a spring fling punch. punch. We all know she loves a fling. You ah! He's rude. <laughs> All right. So, I mean, but you're telling the truth. So, a spring fling punch. Absolutely. Let us go. What, is our, what are our so, first ingredients? The essence of a punch is, punch translates to number five okay. in Indian. Five means one part strong, mm -hmm. one part weak, mm -hmm. one part sweet, one mm -hmm. part sour, one part spice. I like that. Okay, five so five part punch. Five types of ingredients go into a punch. And punch translates to five in Indian. Oh. So in that sense, we're gonna we're gonna kind of gear up for summer, but okay. we're not nearly there. We're yet. We're not nearly there because it's still cold. We're still in our gardens. We are. We're still out in our outside vibes. Yeah, we're just getting the barbecue out. Yeah. Yeah, we've just cleaned it down, ready for, know, the, for the chicken. People are wearing sandals. I mean, people are doing it. They see the sun and they get excited. I know. But you know what? We love the excitement. We love the fun. We do. Absolutely. So, let's. Go. So we're going to put our juices in first. So mm -hmm. in terms of a punch, I feel like we're going into a light kind of fruity vibe first. So I've got some nice grape juice over here. Ooh, grape juice. Okay. Yeah. So we've got all the tannings. Okay. Of the grape juice. Yeah. So we're going to go thirty mil. Okay. So of thirty mil of our grape juice. Yes. We're also going to go thirty mil of pineapple. Thirty mil pineapple. And then we're also going to go 10 mil, mm -hmm. a bit of sour notes. We want kind of the fruity sourness of pomegranates. Okay. So we've got grenadine. Grenadine. Oh, is grenadine pomegranate? Grenadine essentially is pomegranate. Oh, wow. Syrup. Do you know I never knew that? Okay. Like Lovely. That. So, so far we've got our grape juice. Question. Mm -hmm. Obviously, grapes come in different varieties. Yes. This we've used like a Merlot grape. We've used um, red a red, red grape. A does, red. It, does it have to be a red grape? Um, I to add kind of depth and flavour. Yeah. I feel for me. Yeah. That a red grape is really, really nice and and complex. Fantastic. All right. However, cool. in your fridge, mm -hmm. if you've just got normal white grape juice. Yeah. Or any kind of grape juice. Mm -hmm. Stick it in. All right. Cool. Easy. All right. Uh, but we also want to kind of give it some, some kind of island, kind of Caribbean, kind of mixed vibes to it. Mm -hmm. And I always find that the banana is representative of that. Okay. And the banana gives sweetness, mm -hmm. it gives florality, it gives roundness. So I've got a nice banana syrup over Ooh, here. Oh, I do love that. Okay. At home, for those of you guys that don't have banana syrup, blend in your banana with some sugar. Okay. Filter it through. All there right. 
So we've got a whole tropical delight here. We've got grenadine, which we've just found out is pomegranate syrup. We've got yeah. uh, orange. We've got uh, grape. grape. We've got banana. Yes. We've got, all right. I also, see how we're building. The spice element now. Mm -hmm. So for every bartender or any bar, we have something called the Angostura bitters. Okay. This is our salt and pepper. Yes. So in the bar world, in your kitchens, you've got salt and pepper to spice up your 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 meals. Mm -hmm. For us bartenders, it's called bartender's ketchup or bartender's salt and pepper. We call it Angostura bitters. Fantastic. All right. No, it's a cinnamon, nutmeg, mm -hmm. all spice. Nice. All so right. two dashes. One, One two. two. All right. In just for just a quick group. group. Quick, got it. Brook, brook. All right. Exactly. And lastly, our rum. Okay. So again, what size are we going into Large. for this? Large. Always we'll go double. Straight in. Yeah. Fifty mil of our Brugal eighteen eighty eight. Love it. Okay. So now that we've got our rum in there, for the all important shake. Okay, let's go. So, as I always remind you guys, drinks a clock. You can come down live and you can shake some cocktails with us. You can come, we make loads Absolutely. of different cocktails throughout the event. And you know what? The thing you can do as well, you get to shake with Ty. Ty, let's go. Okay, so in our early editions, I did kind of a, a rough shake. Okay. This one, we're just going to mellow it, mellow it in. Right. so there's a... Di oh, look at... The okay, look at the so second we're going island vibes. All oh, right, okay, so we're going to relax we're gonna the relax. shake. We're going to relax Not the shake. as rough as some of the other shakes. Okay. It's a little more chilled. Just a little bit more chilled. All right, You know, nice. we've got chill vibes in the house, and that's exactly. what we like. So, a nice little glass over here. Boom. You can top it up with some fresh ice. Mm -hmm. If you don't, you can shake and dump with the original ice that you've shaken. Okay. It really doesn't matter. Because at the end of the day, we're all going to be drinking it. And Let's it should go. come out. Look at that. Tonight. That colour is stunning. Beautiful colour. Like so. And also, we, we drink with our eyes, so a nice little pineapple. Gotta uh, love a pineapple leaf. Leaf like that. Like love that. it. Um, and a stirrer. However, we now want to kind of elevate this rum. Okay. Into, for those of you guys that are naughty at home. Oh. And that want to give it that extra je ne sais quoi. I want to hear this naughtiness. That, um, some overproof rum. Overproof? Uh-huh. So hold on a second, pause. So <laughs> we've got the, what percent is the 1888? So the 1888 is a 42%. Okay, so we've got our 42% 1888 that's giving us our, our oaky, our leather, our... Mm -hmm. uh, and then now we're going in with a little overproof. Yeah. All right. Just I see little, you. Just a little just a, what? just a little touch. Okay, so it's not aggressive. No. It's relaxed. But again, okay. if you want it to be aggressive. If you want it to be aggressive, you've got flingy little I more. Mean, but okay, all right. And, and then we're, we're going gonna to stir it up. Gently stir. And just we're giving just Bob Marley stir it up. Okay. Yeah, like so. Beautiful. So everybody, spring we have got the spling, spling, the spring, spring fling punch. And we are about to enjoy. Absolutely. All right. So should we go in? Absolutely. You're going in again, which only tells me, folks, winner. <laughs> okay. Mm. Sharon, okay. Is Sharon is caring now. Sharon is caring. Can't lie. The spring bling punch is flinging? definitely doing it for me. Flinging? What it's flinging. What I like is the fact that you've got the rum, you've got the flavours, you've got the little hint of that banana that kind of comes up at the end. And also what I'm loving about it is the fact that I feel like if you'd have put in the overproof with the mix, I don't know if I would have tasted it as much. But mm -hmm. because we just did a nice little at the end, it's giving it something. Absolutely. It's giving it something. Yeah. All right, people. So, Spring Fling Punch. Make sure you get your rum, you get your drinks. 1888 Brugal, definitely the one for this. Yep. Get some overproof. All of your different bits. The recipe is going to be on the screen. And when you take, when you um, make it yourself, make sure you tag us. So you can also find us on socials at its underscore drinks underscore o'clock to see all our content, what we're drinking, 
what I'm doing, what Alexis is doing, mm -hmm. and all the good things. And we'll see you next week. Bye. <laughs>